Welcome to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. I am Greg Sykes. Welcome to this channel. If you haven't been here before, please consider subscribing. And with that, let's get on to today's video. So I think that I was right the other day I was talking about Russell Wilson and the possibilities of him coming to Washington. Rod Rivera said the other day that they're gonna try their best. They're gonna go for a big swing to try to see if they can land a top tier franchise quarterback. And who then none other would it be than Russell Wilson, right? I mean, of course we got Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Okay, Jimmy Garoppolo, he, of course, he's going to be available next season as well. A lot of people feel like he's a shoe win If Washington wants him, he would probably come fairly inexpensive. But, I mean, come on. If you're talking about really trying for a big swing, Jimmy Garoppolo is not really what you consider a big swing type of quarterback, okay? He's going to be a quarterback that is going to play decent. He's going to play well, but he's not going to be that guy who's really going to lead you all the way. Now, yes, I will tell you, yeah, he has been in the Super Bowl. Russell Wilson has as well. Russell Wilson has been in a couple of Super Bowls. Russell Wilson is a franchise quarterback, and Russell Wilson... He seems to fit the mold of what Scott Turner and Ron Rivera wants within their offense. And that mold basically is a an athletic quarterback who can scramble around, extend plays, and has the arm. Russell Wilson has the arm. He has a better arm, in my mind, than what Jimmy Garoppolo does. Jimmy has benefited a lot from that West Coast offense where it's a lot of short passing, slant passes, stuff like that. A lot of timing passes. You let your wide receivers do a lot more of the work. Not always the case with Russell Wilson. Russell tends to go deep a lot and he'll extend his, his plays with his legs, passes the football down the field and makes the plays. So of course, my last video that I kind of made about Russell Wilson, everybody was like, yeah, there is no way that Russell is coming here. And then you start to go on Twitter, which always tends to be a little bit negative. And everybody's like, Russell Wilson doesn't want to come here. Why would he come here? Coming to Washington means that you're really coming here to retire. You're coming here to end your career. I mean, so much negativity on social media as it stands, right? But then Kevin Sheehan comes on and says, well, Russell Wilson actually says that he wouldn't mind coming to Washington. And suddenly the Twitterverse just blows their minds. So now that Kevin Sheehan has come out and kind of said, you know, Russell Wilson didn't say no. It's kind of like, you know, asking a girl out in, in high school and she said, well, let me think about it. It, it may be one of those things where it's like she's trying to come up with a better reason why she can't. And so she's not going to answer you right away. I may have experience with that. All jokes aside, Russell Wilson wants out of Seattle. I really believe he does this time. I mean, he sees that Seattle is heading toward a rebuild. And I don't think that Russell Wilson wants to be on a team that's heading toward the downward spiral. I'm not even sure how long that Pete Carroll is going to be there. I'm kind of surprised that Pete Carroll was going to hang around for the 2022 season. And I think Russell Wilson was probably getting to, to a point to where he was done last season. Kind of figured he would stick around one more year. Didn't have the greatest of years. Kind of felt like, okay, you know, I think the I think the writing's on the wall. It's time to explore my options. And I think certainly Washington is going to give Seattle a lot of what they want. You know, Seattle needs to rebuild. Washington has probably the capital that Seattle needs in order to start the rebuild. And in turn, Washington gets Russell Wilson. I think in this case, it's a win-win situation because Ron Rivera is heading into his third season as head coach of the Washington Commanders. I'm still trying to get used to that name. Usually in your third season, you're really starting to get scrutinized not only by the fans, but by the ownership, by the front office. Even though that Ron Rivera has kind of built the front office, 
it's still the case in point, he he's not a dumb man. He realizes that he's got to start producing on the field. That first season was wasn't really that great. I mean, they were seven and nine, but yet they were able to win a horrible a division and get into the playoffs but still last season they won the same amount of games they had another losing record they have got to win this season they've got to get into the playoffs they got to show that there has been improvement that Ron Rivera's plan is working but they have to have a quarterback and Ron Rivera knows that and so they have got to come up with somebody that is going to turn things around quickly for them Washington hasn't had a franchise quarterback in a long time. I mean, honestly, the last quarterback, the last winning quarterback that Washington has had is Alex Smith. Alex Smith had a winning record with Washington while he was here. I mean, that's that's the truth. So I think Kevin Sheehan just, I think he just confirms what I've already been saying, that Washington is going to swing big on Russell Wilson and you're going to see Russell Wilson next year in Washington. I really do believe he's going to be a commander. And this is going to be what turns this franchise around. Having a Russell Wilson here for the next three to five years is what's going to really turn this franchise around. Because honestly, you're looking at the quarterbacks in the draft this year. It's not really been anybody who has wild people. And it's not been a very deep draft for quarterbacks and I in all honesty I don't think that Washington has necessarily been wild by any of the quarterbacks in the draft I mean Ron Rivera wasn't even at the senior bowl if that tells you anything so I really believe that we are going to swing very very hard and very very big all right dirty minded people i guarantee we're going to get russell wilson now it's probably going to sting a little bit because you know it's going to cost us some first round draft picks but honestly have we really scored really big in first round draft picks when it comes to picking quarterbacks you know honestly in my opinion you in this case i think it's best that you go after russell wilson you get him and then you don't necessarily have to draft the quarterback in this year's draft because there's probably not going to be a really good quarterback in those latter rounds. But next year, there may be. There may be a deeper draft for quarterbacks next year and the year after that. That's when you draft a quarterback and then you put him behind Russell Wilson. You let him learn behind somebody like him like Wilson, time comes that Wilson steps down, you have this guy ready to step in and to lead the team. I think that's honestly the best case scenario for this team. So what do you guys think? Kevin Sheehan seems to think that there's a possibility. I think it's a shoe in but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, share it with your friends, your buddies, and please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. And with that said, take command. I just, I'm trying to get used to that.